Moto Guzzi Motorcycle Repairs. If you're looking for help fixing your Moto Guzzi motorcycle, look no further. Our comprehensive Moto Guzzi Motorcycle Repair Guide will explain common issues, provide tips, and maybe show you how to repair your vehicle. Moto Guzzi manufactures cars that owners have come to trust. Even a trustworthy autos require occasional maintenance or repair. However, if you're in need of Moto Guzzi auto repair from experienced professionals, your local auto helper can help. See if the fuel injection system is functional. Fuel injection systems are tricky to deal with, which makes it challenging to determine whether your bike is having injector issues or another problem. But since fuel injectors very rarely fail, experts suggest a pump failure is more likely. Check to see if you can hear the pump running when you try to start the bike. If not, you can check the pump fuse. Apart from these preliminary investigations, you will likely need to see a professional to confirm whether the FI system is the culprit. Determine if the petcock is clogged. One potential issue that might be keeping your motorcycle from starting up is a clogged petcock. The petcock is a fuel control valve. It controls the gas flow between off, on, and reserve settings. Clogged petcocks are a common issue that riders often bring up in forums. A minuscule screen helps keep gunk out of the petcock, but corrosion and bits of stray material can cause flow issues. Rattling the petcock a bit can help dislodge any blockages, but replacement or a deep cleaning might be necessary to get your bike running again. Look for loose wires. Another seeming no-brainer is checking electrical connectors to see that everything is plugged in. Electrical issues often escape riders because they aren't always visible but manually checking the connectors can help you spot a problem that wouldn't otherwise reveal itself. If you suspect something other than the battery is the culprit, especially if you've just swapped the battery for a new one, it's also worth looking at your battery connector cables. It's possible your new battery's wiring is incorrect, making your non-starter quick fix once you tighten the cables to the terminals. Put the motorcycle in the right gear. Depending on the motorcycle, you might need to not only engage the clutch but also have the transmission in neutral to get started. If you're new to the bike you're having trouble with, switching to neutral and engaging the clutch can be a valuable troubleshooting step and save you potential embarrassment. Confirm the kill switch is off. Not every rider uses their kill switch with regularity, but if you have used it recently, it's possible the engine cutoff switch is still activated. Either that or someone else flicked it or you did it by accident. Either way, it's worth a quick glimpse, as the switch remaining in the on position will prevent the motorcycle from starting. Ensure the fuel valve is set to on. For motorcycles with fuel valves read non-fuel injected models. Having the setting in the wrong place can keep your bike from starting up. Make sure the fuel valve is turned to the on position and be patient for a few seconds until the carburetor float bowls fill. Check for blown fuses, just like a car or truck. Motorcycles have fuses, and they can blow the same as in any other vehicle. Keeping a fuse kit on hand is helpful so you can replace any blown fuses with one that has the same amperage. If fuses continue to blow after you replace them, you likely have a more serious electrical issue somewhere in the bike's wiring. Source